Hi there, my name is John Passo. Some of you might recognize me from movies such as Starship Troopers 2 or Pirates of the Caribbean. Maybe you remember me from a Starter and a Chaser podcast, which is my alcohol review podcast that I have going on YouTube. But other people might remember me as a fiery foods journalist and reviewer. I retired about 10 years ago from the industry, and some of my favorite sauces were from Australia. So when uh, Bent from Alpha Nerds sent me a message and said, Oi, can you come out of retirement and review me new sauce? I said, what the hell, sure. So I've never had a bad sauce from Australia, and I'm curious if his new sauce, Chronic Pain, will break that streak or hold that theory true. Now, this is the hottest sauce that he produces, and it has the ingredients of peppers, pears, garlic, ginger, gari, black olives, vinegar, lime juice, sugar, brandy essence, salt, and cinnamon. Now, that's kind of similar to his other sauces that he has, uh, Pain and Pain 2. Now, I'm not sure if Pain 2 is Pain squared or to the second power. If you guys know the answer, be sure to leave comments in the comment section below and be sure to hit subscribe when you're down there. Um, so, similar ingredients to his other sauces, and he lists the heat for this as a 12 out of 10. Now, if you're curious as to where to get this sauce, you can visit his Facebook page at facebook.com slash pain sauce. Now he ships worldwide for that. So we're going to crack this sucker open. Uh, look at that. Good pureed, but uh, nice and thick. Actually, I'm going to shake this up first. It's always a good idea to shake your sauces because sometimes the uh, ingredients will separate. That vinegar is going to float to the top. So give it a good shake. All right. Yeah, that looks a lot better now. So we're going to take a little taste here of it. Mmm. Right off the bat, the peppers hit. Fruity scorpions. A little earthy pepper note. Uh, I know he puts in um, chocolate scorpions in here. And boy, does it got a real big bite from the scorpions. The very distinguishable heat. Some of that gari does come in, but it's really dominated with earthy tones. Um, a little hint of ginger, the black olives. Heat really continues to build and build. Cinnamon coming in on the finish. Now this is the hottest sauce that he makes, and I could definitely purport to his other sauces, this has got a bite to it. It grabs your tongue, and it just does not let go, which I love. <laughs> um, one thing about this sauce, though, is the brandy essence really doesn't come to the forefront like his other sauces. His other sauces really are dominated with a lot of pear and brandy notes. That kind of lend a slight sweetness to the fruitiness and grounds grounds the whole sauce really well. This switches to the other side with emphasis on earthy and dark flavors with a little bit of cinnamon spice on the back end. So this is, even though the ingredients are similar to his other sauces, don't expect kind of that theme of, of fruity sweet to continue with it. <clears throat> Wrong pipe. <coughs> so I've tried this on a couple different foods, and some of my top contenders to pair this with are Asian, Thai, Indian foods. Something that the, the earthiness of this sauce can really latch hold to and shine through. It was decent on tacos. But really, those those um, those Asian cuisines, it was just killer with. So flavor wise, let me think about flavor for a second. Let's go with heat heat rating. This sauce, while it has an initial intense 
bite and burn, it slowly starts to ramp down. So after about two minutes here, it's, it's leveled off at about a five. So it starts off pretty high and then goes down. So I'd probably put this at an 8.256 on my heat rating out of 10. And for the flavors, I think this is a fantastic sauce. It's hard for me to separate what his usual sauces are because that's what I'm really used to from him. And this is kind of a, di a divergence from that. So getting that out of my mind, I would give this probably a 7.893 out of 10 for, for the flavor. Only because that earthiness really dominates the, the sauce and I feel like it's a little bit out of the balance. If a little bit of more of that pear came up or the brandy essence came up to meet it, I think it would be a little bit more of a balanced sauce and then that would probably be a solid 10 in my book. His other sauces are a solid 10 for me. Um, I'm not saying that this is bad. The seven score is, is really high in my book. Um, I would definitely seek it out, especially if you like those darker, earthier notes. This is going to absolutely deliver for you. So, from Australia with Love, Chronic Pain by Bent Alpha Nerd out of Brisbane, Australia, facebook.com slash pain sauce. I would say that this definitely lives up to the name of uh, Australia. Uh, it does not disappoint. It's got the heat that I expect from from <laughs> those crazy Australians. Man, you know, if you ever see Hippie Seed Company, his his reviews, Australians, man, they, they're on a whole nev another level with their heat tolerances, and this is right up there from what I expect. So, uh, Bent, thank you very much for sending me the sauce for review people out there be sure to pick it up it's absolutely delicious and if you're interested in seeing some of my other videos be sure to check out this channel or a starter and a chaser podcast on youtube and instagram for my beer and spirits review podcast cheers everybody